Hey, welcome to Dance Comp Review Video Tutorials. And today we're going to be talking about the makeup. Yes, men's makeup. We get numerous letters from lady dancers asking us to do a video tutorial from men to men about makeup. Guys, makeup is important when you go out in the competitive floor and you don't want anything extraordinary. You're not going to be doing anything extra with your eyes like your partner does. You're just going to be toning yourself up. So let's get started. Here is the list of makeup products I will need for this tutorial. First of all, I will definitely need a moisturizer. Any kind of moisturizer will do. So I'm using Peter Thomas Roth. I think I stole that one from one of the hotels, actually. A foundation. And a foundation obviously has to be put in with a little sponge. And I'm going to make sure that the sponge is clean. A powder. And I'm going to use a bronzer in the end. And all of that will be applied with a brush. Now, if you have any questions about the makeup and what kind of makeup to use, I suggest you do talk to your partner about this, but a lot of stuff could be, um, you can get a lot of stuff over the counter at one of the drugstores. All right, so now that we're starting out, first things first, moisturizer. Okay, so making sure that you're not going for the hair. <sighs> because I'm only doing the face and I'm getting my makeup ready for um, a ballroom section of my uh, competitive dancing. I'm not going to be putting anything right here, but I will, however, take care of the face, ears, front neck, side, and the back. Make sure that the moisturizer is dry. If you don't have a dry moisturizer, you can use a blow dryer. Or you can also use simple toilet paper or a tissue, whichever works best, to get the excess moisturizer off the area where the makeup is gonna go. The next stage is applying foundation. We're taking our sponge, making sure it's clean, applying foundation to the sponge. You don't have to use a lot. And the way I'm doing it right here is I'm also spreading the foundation all over the sponge so the excess foundation shouldn't be thrown out or washed out use it just put a few points around because you have to cover the whole face so apply do not apply too much just to cover the whole face get the little spots as well and I feel like I don't have enough so I'm gonna apply a little bit more same situation same way Oh, the whole process takes a little bit of practice, so make sure that you practice getting everything, including the eyes. Spreading it all around. Okay, the next stage is making sure that you get all the excess foundation off your face. So obviously, you want to wait a little bit for it to um, dry, but you still want to get the excess foundation off. So for that, same thing, I'm just going to use the toilet paper or a tissue. So I'm not wiping it off, I'm just applying a little bit of pressure that doesn't get any foundation off your face. And don't you tell me that I missed the spot, I know I did. So now that I got the excess foundation off, the next stage for me is going to be the powder. And when you're applying the powder, you do not want to just go for the powder and use all that powder right away. Just sort of brush it all off so it evens out a little bit because once you rub it in on that brush, it's concentrated in the center you want to spread it. So what I do for that, and I got that technique from my partner, you sort of spread it along the brush and now you have a bit more consistent area that is powdered. So applying from the center out. And the reason that we put the powder on is because whenever we apply the bronzer, um, if you apply bronzer straight to the foundation, it's going to eventually come out very spotty because in comparison to the foundation bronzer is very dry and that's why we need the powder just to create an additional layer so that bronzer sits quite nicely let's face it guys we're not this is not rocket science we don't want to create anything beautiful 
as beautiful as what our partners are doing with their faces. We just want a tone, a nice tone, you know? A nice texture to it. Now that we got the powder, the next stage and the final stage is the bronzer. You have to be very specific with the bronzer. And you gotta make sure that you check this track right here, how the bronzer is being applied and which areas should be sort of darker, which areas should be lighter. You don't want to put bronzer right into your eyes, you're gonna look like a raccoon or skeleton, right? So we want to apply a little bit of tone, darker tones on the sides, uh, maybe darker tones around, darker tones here, but a lot of areas, maybe just a little bit of darkness around here, but definitely define the cheekbones, right? And your uh, dance partner is probably gonna help you with that, but overall, you still want to be able to do it by yourself so you're not merging into the lady's space. So I'm going into the middle, All right? I'm starting with the side right here. Okay. I mean, the whole process takes practice, obviously, so be sure to take your time practicing that. So there you have it, you guys, a very basic makeup for men. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and we'll try our best to respond. Please check out our website at www.dancecompreview.com for more tips, tricks, and awesome information on ballroom dancing. Thank you for watching this Dance Comp Review video tutorial on men's makeup. Hopefully it's going to be very valuable to you. I am Igor Shalvarov. See you next time.